Hey, my Malkins moments. I have some great Malkins moments uh, for you. Always my favorite segment of the day. So I have to start with Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis collected his second playoff triple-double of his career. He had uh, 24 points, 13 rebounds, 12 assists yesterday in the Milwaukee Bucks' Game 1 Eastern Conference semifinals win over the Boston Celtics on the road yesterday, 101-289. He became, Giannis did, the first player in Bucks franchise history with multiple career playoff triple-doubles. He collected his first playoff triple-double in Game 4 of the 2021 first-round playoff series against the Miami Heat. He dropped 20 points, 15 rebounds, and uh, 12 rebounds, pardon, and 15 assists in that contest. So major shout-out to Giannis continuing to back up uh, his best player in the world status. Major shout out to him and the Bucks for taking game one. The NFL draft took place last weekend, uh, commenced over the weekend back on Thursday. The Georgia Bulldogs had an historic, historic draft. The reigning national champions in college football, they had five players drafted in the first round of the NFL draft on Thursday. Uh, they had five first round defensive picks in particular, which are the most ever from one school. In fact, Georgia set a NFL record with 15 players drafted in the NFL draft altogether. That's the most of all time. So major shout out to Kirby Smart and his program. Major, major accomplishment for that school. That says a lot about the type of talent that they had. Transitioning to baseball, the LA Dodgers is ace Clayton Kershaw set a record in Dodgers history, he etched his name in Dodgers history. He became the Dodgers all-time strikeouts leader officially. Did Clayton Kershaw after collecting his 2,697th strikeout of his career. Came against the Detroit Tigers yesterday. Clayton Kershaw, this is a guy who not only he broke a 43-year-old record that had been held by Don Sutton uh, for, for 43 years and when you think about Clayton Kershaw and what he's meant to this organization, eight all-star selections, three times he's been named the NL Cy Young winner. Now he adds a World Series champion and title to his resume. He, he bleeds Dodger white and blue. And this is a guy who's from Texas and yet has been embraced by L.A. and the city and this community. And it's great to have him as a Dodger. It's great that he has been able to leave an indelible mark on this franchise and in the sport of baseball. He was congratulated by a lot of greats, Oral Hergeiser, Vin Scully, a bunch of uh, Don Sutton's son left the message. So, so numerous guys left the message for him. A.J. Ellis, former players, very, very touching tribute to him. He received a major ovation at Dodger Stadium over the weekend. And it was just just great, great to see. And major congratulations uh, to Clayton Kershaw. And finally, big shout out to the Golden State Warriors' head coach, Steve Kerr, for moving up to ninth place on the NBA's playoffs all-time coaching wins list. It came after the Golden State Warriors beat the Memphis Grizzlies in game one of the Western Conference semifinals yesterday, 117 to 116. Steve Kerr is continuing to prove why he is a really, really good head coach in this league. Uh, that's all the time that I got for you today. Thank you so much for joining me right here on Morning Joe every single Monday and Wednesday morning, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 to 11 Central, and 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube page, Morning Joe, J-O, with Jonah Malkin on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at Jonah underscore Malkin or at Morning underscore Joe underscore uh follow me on instagram jmalk97 tiktok jonah malkin and as always have a lovely rest of your morning